With a fierce competition between characters to stay relevant enough to make it in the final roster of each game, Mortal Kombat has a huge list of awesome fighters that pretty much died away with the passage of time. But interestingly enough, MKX has revived characters such as Tremor and Tanya that appeared only a couple of times in previous installments and were mostly neglected before they actually returned. In this list, we're counting down some of those forgotten characters that ought to be recalled to life in the next Mortal Kombat game. Number 10. Havoc I am Havoc, Cleric of Chaos. With the rumors indicating that Noob Saibot will make his return in the next game, what better way to complement that but to include his most trusted ally from the Chaos Realm? In case you didn't know, Havoc's model was going to be used for the alternate custom of Noob Saibot in MK Deception, but then developers decided to create a whole new character out of it. In addition, much like Noob Saibot, Havoc's skills and sorcery are outstanding, combined with a fighting style that revolves mainly around savagery and mayhem. Havoc wins! Number 9. Ashra I am Ashra. I was once like the others, before I found the means to purge myself of the evil taint that permeates all who reside here. When looking at Ashra for the first time, you'd think that she's the female version of Raiden, but it's actually the complete opposite. While Raiden is the god of thunder, Ashra is in reality a demon from the netherrealm. Although she frequently uses her signature weapon known as the Chris, her fighting style relies mostly on sorcery and magic, as shown in her finishing moves. <laughs> Number 8. Moloch When it comes to powerful giants in the game, we tend to think of Goro, Kintaro, Shiva, and Onaga. But there is one giant monster that people usually turn a blind eye to, and that is Moloch. This Ani monster is extremely large and one of the strongest characters to have ever appeared. His savage style of combat combined with his mercilessness makes him one of the most lethal combatants on the battleground. <laughs> Number 7. Su Hao Su Hao as well as other members of the Red Dragon are completely disregarded by the Netherrealm Studios unlike the rival clan known as the Black Dragon, an alliance that is still one of the most relevant factions in the game. Although he's an inferior member of the Red Dragon, Su Hao has proven to be a key contributor along with Mavado in hindering many plans orchestrated by the Black Dragon. Number 6. Jarek Jarek is one of Kano's favorite students who was eventually made the second in command of the Black Dragon clan. Due to the fact that Jarek's moves and fatalities were mostly copied from Kano, many labeled him as unoriginal and uninspiring, which caused him to disappear from the roster for quite a while now. Wrong, Jarek. This is not a brutality. This is a fatality. Number 5. Cobra Many consider this character to be a blatant ripoff of Ken from the Street Fighter franchise. As truthful as that is, Cobra's storyline and fighting style are very unique, being an expert in mixed martial arts and one of Black Dragon's most prominent members. But in order for this character to have a successful comeback, his appearance will need a completely new design, just like the way Striker was reinvented in MK9. Police brutality coming up! Number 4. Kira Kira is unquestionably one of the most underrated characters in the series. She was recruited by Cabal for the Black Dragon Clan, since they needed a sharp-witted female fighter whose combat skills could match those of Sonya Blade. In-game, Kira uses special moves and fighting styles that are taken directly from Sonya and Kano, making her a very skilled combatant in fist fighting, as well as with her dragon teeth knives. Number 3. Draman Welcome to hell! This Ani Tormentor is sadly one of the most underestimated characters ever. Despite having a very appealing storyline that in many ways resembles that of Scorpion, not much attention is paid to this unique fighter. In combat, Draman relies on his Iron Club combined with his intense rage, which makes him an extremely dangerous opponent. But it takes a lot more than just burning rage and an Iron Club to make it back to the main roster. 
Adding a supernatural ability to his arsenal would make him undoubtedly one of the most competitive characters out there. Number 2, Taven. My name is Taven. I merely came here to retrieve something, a gift from my mother. Although Taven was the main protagonist of Armageddon, he appeared only once as a playable character unlike his half-brother Rain, who has been featured several times including the last two installments. Being associated with the element of fire, Taven's superpowers will have to go through a complete overhaul since there is already too many characters associated with that ability. I will not let you pass. Prepare to face me in hell! Number 1. Kai When it comes to Shaolin monks, people tend to think of the legendary duo Liu Kang and Kung Lao, but never even consider Kai. But I don't blame these people because even when Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks was released in 2005, it centered only on these two characters. It is as if the developers wanted to remove Kai from the picture altogether, because he didn't even appear in a supporting role like say Raiden or Johnny Cage did. But with Liu Kang now being a villainous revenant who serves the forces of evil, it's the perfect opportunity for Kai to make a return and who knows, maybe even become the new champion of the Elder Gods. It holds the power of thunder and lightning. Wield it wisely, for it can show you the way to immortality. You've earned it. Thank you, Raiden. I will not fail. Is there another forgotten character that you think is being left out? Let us know in the comments section below. For more, make sure to like the video and subscribe to Game Loop.